Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this problem, where a square prism is standing on the ground, a square prism, 40 mm side, 60 mm axis, standing on the ground with one side parallel to PP and 10 mm behind picture frame. A square prism, 40 mm side, 60 mm axis, rests or stands on the ground on its base with one rectangular face parallel to PP or one base edge parallel to PP and 10 mm behind picture plane. I have drawn the picture plane. I have drawn the plan of the square, plan as a square, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 10 mm behind picture plane. 40 mm square, the height is not visible in the plan, height is not visible in the plan. Then, the station point is 50 mm in front of PP, the station point is 50 mm in front of PP, 45 mm to the right of the axis. So what do you do? You draw a vertical line at the center, measure 45 mm to the right and then draw a line and locate a SP 50 mm in front of SP, uh, PP. 50 mm, 50 mm, 40 mm, 45 mm to the right and then 55 mm from PP. This is SP. What is SP? SP is station point. SP is station point. Now, anywhere draw HL. What is HL? Horizon line. Anywhere. Preferably below SP. Then 80 mm above below HL draw GL because the question says the height of the observer or the station point is 80 mm above the ground. The station point is 80 mm above the ground. So, HLG height is 80. Now, I am going to draw this problem by visual ray method. Earlier we have seen four problems using vanishing point method. This problem we are going to do by visual ray method. They are similar but we additionally draw an elevation. Additionally, draw an elevation of the object. In visual ray method, you can draw an end view also and draw. In visual ray method, there are two approaches. One is draw an elevation of the object, draw elevation of the station point and then draw. The other method of visual ray is draw end view of the object and also draw end view of the station point and draw. The second method is slightly difficult. So I will go for elevation, visual ray method with elevation. Okay. This is plan of object, plan of station point. What is elevation of the object? Elevation of the object is draw this, drop this down and complete the elevation. OP. O dash, B dash. This is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash. This is elevation of the object. Look at the elevation of SP. If this is SP, this is SP dash. What is SP dash? SP dash is the elevation of the station point. Elevation of the station point should fall on HL. So drop SP down to HL to get SP dash. So what did you draw? Plan of object, plan of SP. Elevation of object, elevation of SP dash. Elevation of SP. Plan of object, plan of SP. Elevation of object, elevation of SP. Now, join all points of the plan to SP. The problem here is, there are more lines and the way the lines are drawn decides the shape what you get. So you have to be very, very careful. You have joined all points to the points of the plan to the SP, plan of SP. Join all points in the elevation to the elevation of SP. Agreed? Now, look at this. The intercept from the PP is dropped to the line connecting the elevation to SP dash. Example, 
example this is a intercept of a this is a dash sp dash drop the intercept of a to a dash sp dash this is capital a agree this is b the intercept of b drop it down to b dash sp dash what do you get you get capital b c c d capital d e capital e capital f capital g capital x op i have not drawn i will draw op os o p i got all the points looks uh, slightly difficult to identify connect them properly a b b c a e b f e f e x h g g e f c g dotted 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 as is chain i hope it is clear a b c d e f g h o p axis now since the rectangular face a b e f is not touching the picture plane it is slightly pulled by you can see it is pulled back the problem in this visual drawing method is if you draw the elevation very dark you will land up in total trouble the elevation must be drawn very very light because such a such a uh, object do not stand there it doesn't exist there because the perspective view which you draw will be very close to it and it will overlap so if you draw the elevation dark you will land up in trouble so you have to be very very careful to draw the elevation very very light if you do that it will be very comfortable <coughs> if you do that it will be very comfortable. i will give you a tip here visual drawing method with elevation is preferred it's preferred when the station point is away from the center of the object i repeat visual drawing method with elevation is preferred when the station point is away from the center and also when a side of the object is parallel to pp a side of the object is parallel to bp and also when the axis of the object is perpendicular to bp okay in this case it is not like that if the axis of the object is perpendicular to bp so visual drawing method with elevation is preferred under three conditions one is station point is away from the vicinity of the object second is a side of base is or a rectangular base or a side of base etc is parallel to bp third is the axis of the object is perpendicular to bp pp these are the three conditions under which perspective view with visual ray elevation elevation with the visual ray is preferred that is not 100% true but in most of the cases visual ray with elevation will be more comfortable in such cases i hope you understand very similarly you can have a square pyramid instead of a prism you can have a square pyramid we will do it as another university question that also has come uh, many many times in various universities this is a very frequently repeated question very simple question very frequently repeated okay thank you